from the sky all those years ago. We sinners were cast upon this desolate land. Ask God to send his angel of salvation our way. Praise the angel. Honor the angel. Become the angel's eyes in this world. Is that Sophia? Dumbass. Please let the wind blow soon. If it doesn't, then I... Ah. I'm melting. I'm melting. Amen. Standard religious track movie. The church of plant worshippers pumps out that kind of propaganda. Red sand. Long before your time, the desert didn't look this way. The sand was the same color as anywhere else. You still hot after my killing story? Mm. Roberto's still weird to me. Gonna kill me? He's a goner. <laughs> Looks like Wormy took a fist straight to the skull. Fist. Gonna kill me? The thing has been dead for a while. So even if it was knives, our man's long gone now. Oh, that's the place. Crazy religion. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, why not just continue driving there? When kids get sacrificed, why does God have to eat them? What? Is a village sacrificing their kids to hopefully like get better weather there? To bring blessings, dear. Are those blessings worth dying for? Death mm. is not the end. It's the beginning. Heaven is a wonderful place and dying gets us there. Doesn't look like anyone's lived here in a long time. Village is bad voodoo. It's quite, it's creepy. I'm bad juju. I don't think these folks needed a plant for power. A windmill? If there's never any wind. A prolonged power outage, I suppose. Huh? It's the way wind power has always worked. Stupid way. <laughs> Holy shit. Here, gunshot. Don't jump into them. Oops. Yeah, she dumb. Oh, shit. How does he know him? Oh, great. The big fella knows Bash. How? Damn, dude. <laughs> Both running. Oh, shit. He's kind of like, uh... He's like Bane from Batman, just with like machine guns on him. He's got the same build and like cosmetics too. Except instead of like the green fuel and shit, it's bullets. It's pretty cool looking. It's kind of have like a little bat symbol like thing too. So yeah, very Bane type style. Ba ba ba, you're dead. That's cool. She's gonna off her kid. But it's something we all have to conquer. He was born on a windless day, and now he's finally getting his blessing. It's truly a wonderful thing, right? These women are crazy. Crazy, crazy. Just voluntarily offing all their kids for wind. Mm, bad logic. He's home right now, bitch. <laughs> You'll do a fine job killing your kid. Many things that like, okay, so if dying is such a great thing to go to heaven, blah, blah, blah. Why don't any of the adults do it? Like they're only just making the kids do it. And two, this kid knows that the village is sacrificing their kids for the win. So I'd be like, oh shit, there might be a possibility that I'm next. So like like he's doing now, I would have been dipping a while back. Oh, that is cool. I thought this was my screen for a second doing that.
Damn, dude. Bash has so much potential. It is just like Bane. I do like to, like between intermissions, it shows the map and it always shows where they're at throughout like the episodes and stuff. So that is cool, which makes me assume that all of these places, or most of them are at least mentioned, but the popular ones are at least visited. You're a dumbass, you know? This yep. do-gooder crap's killing me. I am. <laughs> you don't pull punches. That's cool. I never noticed that. The uh, trigger part of Tombstone's gun is a cross. So that's, that's very awesome for the theme, Undertaker and all. Um, he like puts his fingers and shit in the, the eye holes and all that to turn it and push. That's awesome. The this skull. Village. I think I it said cross. Visit, huh? Dang. That boy's skedaddling. <laughs> Okay, little man. <laughs> Maybe you can help me out. I'm looking for Rolo. How'd he get out there? Something's a trick. Something's tricking him, for sure. Your mom asked me to come out here and track you down. Tell him the truth, kid. Hey, mister, you're the real-life humanoid typhoon. Everybody knows you. Everybody, huh? Yeah. I'm not doing good. I'm gonna die before I get to grow up, they say. Why, I'm next. Hey! Uh. Mama! She's worried about me? If you ever need someone, remember me. I'll be right there. I swear I'll save you! Hmm. The kid's dumb, though, instantly going back. By the time I got back here with some medicine, there was nothing I could do. The little guy was... Got it. You talked... Oh, man. No way you could have saved him from a fate like that. That was all past event. Ready for round two. Ah, shit, dude. Plot twist, that kid's the fucking cyborg, the Bane board, the Bane bot, Bane cyborg. That's what's gonna happen. Oh, man. That's why he's looking for Vash to so food. And look, he's wearing, the, he's wearing the green pants. That's it. He's got the same green pants on, just they're really loose. They're really tight now on the Bane, the Bane guy. Damn, dude. Bless you. That fucking guy. Who are you? Ugh. <laughs> Let go, please. <laughs> yep. Someone gonna put that fire out? Oh man. Using this drug will rebuild your body at the cellular level. Side effects are to be expected, but at the very least. It won't be your illness that killed you. The implant in his brain will heighten his emotions. Damn, dude. Think about it, though, because, like, Bash told him if you ever need me, I'll be there. So, like, in that moment of, like, going through that surgery shit, he was just probably screaming Bash, Bash's name and everything. So then now it's, like, embedded into his head and everything. So now as this full cyborg, that's all he says and thinks of. stirs the body and mind like hatred. It's a poison so deadly that the worm's venom hardly rivals its potency. Is someone there? He's about to kill his mom. Mama, it's me. Justifiably. Oh my god, dude. Oh, 
And I'm kind of, I'm glad he off this mom. She was a, this place is something. a jerk. Find something? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh my god. He's been in Rolo's life forever. Are we trying to make this a sad episode or what? That's Vash. Does he not age? Come on, Rolo! It isn't you! Not one speck of humanity. Is Tombstone's voice actor the same as Bakugo for My Hero? Because it sounds very similar, right? Not Bakugo, Todoroki. It sounds just like him. Listen, Rolo. I'd be dead. Four times, I'd be dead. I'm sorry. Oh. Just a kid. He has a face. I promised I'd be there to save you. Don't you do it, Tombstone. No. Rolo's about I'm not sorry. Rolo. Tombstone's about to mess him up. I'm here now to keep my word to you. Now. You won't have to be alone ever again. Quit being a dumbass! Oh my god. Tombstone, you dick. The visual look cool, though. <laughs> Jesus, man. Poor Rolo. Come on. Wake up. You have to be okay. Please, Rolo. You're fine, little man. Just wake up, please. Damn. Wake up. That's a corpse, Stampede. Just let it go. Mm. Don't play dumb. Why'd you shoot Rolo? Mercy. That monster was not the kid you knew. Keeping it alive would have been torture. That's what I was thinking. It's not for you to decide. It was you who did the poor kid so wrong. An empty promise is a lie. Mm. That or a wake up call to check your ego. Damn. The sacrifice. It worked. Ironically. One of his other creations did the job. Oh. His other creations. Correct. So, is Tombstone not a human? He was also created? It seems like all these beings were created by millions of knives or someone else. No. It was the Punisher. Oh my god, dude. That's pretty airy. Like, creepy. Good episode. I would be a horrible TV show slash movie critic. Because after every viewing, I would just be like, good episode. That was really good. I said it last time, but it's also good this time. Really good. I'm just easy to please. What can I say? This this was a good episode. I I do like... It, it seems like it's following the storyline of just Vash always being undecisive on just like... He, he, he's very optimistic about all circumstances and not really a realist with situations. So Tombstone, he knew what it was and that's why like he killed Rolo really quickly. Even though it was sad and depressing for Rolo's state, I was thinking the same thing because like they can't keep him alive. If they if they kept him alive, he would just be back and forth from a state of mind, state of mind. It's like maybe being Rolo for a little bit and then going crazy for a good while. And then they have to do all that effort to like maybe prevent him from hurting other people, hurting himself, killing them, to like make him go back to Rolo's mindset. And it'll just be back and forth until eventually he does get killed. So that probably was the best option for robotic Rolo. I'm curious to Tombstone. I, I think Tombstone's gonna end up good or sacrificing himself for the greater good later on. But um, I'm curious about the villains. I don't know. Uh, do not like the doctor guy, but it seems like they're all created by someone, the same person with the same agenda. So I'm curious to see how that goes, but yeah, it's, it's a good episode. Slowly building up the, the characters and the story, but just waiting on the next one. The visuals are amazing. I love every time 
when Tombstone uses his fucking gun. It's just so cool. Just his style, swinging it around, the green light beam and stuff. Like, it's super badass. And I'm curious of the stuff he, he drank. Because, like, it just seemed like drinking that stuff gave him the power up. Um, and I wonder if, like, Vash is similar. Like, if he could do that stuff. Like, get power boost and stuff like that. So, yeah, just waiting on the next episode.